Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time I'm Lisa Dixon and I'm your divorce expert. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell button so you get free divorce expert advice like child custody, child alimony and financial settlements. Now let's get straight into it. Number one. Number one is all about the value of your home. You've got to keep the value low. Keep it low, get it low, get the valuers to make sure that the market is in a low point, that you've got lots of obstacles around and therefore your house is not worth as much as maybe the house next door or the house behind you. It's all about keep the value low. must not buy anything during your divorce. Another client of mine, she had two little ones and she was living back at home and she desperately wanted to get out and buy a unit, buy her own apartment. And I said to her, but if you do that, it's going to be shared property. It's going to be something that you have to share with your ex. Do you want to share this purchase with your ex-partner? That is the number one question you must ask yourself. She didn't and she's renting until she settles and that's really the best solution. Cash is king. Cash, 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 income. Now, we all know that how much child support you have to pay is based on your income. If your income is 200,000 for instance, we all know that your child support payments are going to be a lot higher. If you are paid cash a lot, then that doesn't necessarily, well, I'm not going to say, but it just affects your formula. So that can help with your formula and keep it down. If you keep your income down, then your child support payments are also affected. Now I'm sharing all of this with you because then you know you've got the heads up with the other side. I'm Lisa Dixon, talk to you soon.